Hi, this is Panda here. Just a quick announcement before this week's podcast. The podcast is now available on the iTunes podcast store. So search in the Panda podcast, How We Go Into Anime, on the iTunes store, and that's us. Uh, if you're listening to this on iTunes already, well, congratulations. Um, you are the first few uh, that are listening to it. Uh, you can still find our regular uploads on YouTube. Just Google the Panda podcast, How We Go Into Anime as well. Uh, about this week's podcast, there were some misgiven information regarding uh, Sword Art Online and Exo World. I apologize, and I hope you guys enjoy the podcast. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Panda Podcast. I'm your host, Panda. Today we're joined by Mr. Jerry. Hey, yo. And once again, joining us today is Mr. Phil Sterick. Welcome back. Yo, what's good, homies? How'd you feel coming back after... Uh, when you, were, you were on the episode, what, two episodes ago? Yeah, um, last time I didn't speak a lot. So hopefully yeah. I have lots to contribute to. You got a topic to contribute to today's podcast? Yes, yes hopefully. 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 Mr. Jerry, how are you feeling today? It's been a while since we had you. Feeling sleepy. Oh, no, you were in last week. That's all right. Last oh, episode. I wasn't here last week. I was, the, dying, the, I was dying. I hate fever. That was the one last week. Oh. The last one. The last one. before, yeah. The last one. So. When, you were, oh. when, you were, when you and the hater had a really yeah. good conversation about... Uh, oh, God, don't... That up. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, so I've been out of before a bit because of hay fever and uh, work, pretty much. Oh man, it's good to be back after. I think oh, we haven't had an episode in two weeks now. Too many technical issues. Too many, too many issues with people. Too many issues with uh, st- studio. But we're back. We're back. Yeah, busy lives calls us, man. Yeah, we're back. We're back. Um, in the two weeks that we were gone, though. Did you guys know there was something called Batman Day? Batman Day was a thing? Nope. <laughs> Batman, Day, Batman Day is a thing that's celebrated in America. You know one thing, because you're a comic, comic, uh, comics guy, right? An amateur comic uh, I really, guy. I, I really want to understand this. Okay, sure. You know how they have that series of uh, collector's figure called like pop vinyls, or what do they call it? Pop vinyl, yep. yeah. They're, yep. they're ridiculously expensive. Like 30 bucks for like the, one for, for one figure. And they're like apparently a really good collector's item. and They're basically chibi PVC figurines, if you yeah, want to put it that yeah, way. Yeah, pretty much. Right. I just don't understand why people buy them. Like from my perspective, because I'm not too familiar with comics, right? Yeah. They don't portray the character at all. It's like, not. It's not even comics. The pop vinyls. It's 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 uh, quite bored. I understand. They yeah. do like films like uh, Breaking Bad. They have like all that stuff in there. Yeah. But like the figure doesn't portray the character. Like like ba- imagine Batman, right? He's supposed to be like uh, vigilante, right? Yeah. On the figure, he's like cute and chibi. It's like it, it looks like he's gonna go. Oh, hello, guys. My name is Batman. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it doesn't make sense to me. I, I guess like the whole. The whole point of the pop vinyl is to make a cute version of a character, no matter what. That that's how like I think that's how traditionally how chibi figures are meant to be portrayed. Uh, fair enough. Yeah, speaking of chibis though, um, this is totally off the Batman topic right now. But like, I have a friend who collects like those chibi things. I forgot what they're called. Like, it's Japanese, but it's very very expensive. Apparently, uh, they ordered like this really like this anime character, which I don't remember their name, but it's like. Over a hundred dollars for a chibi figure. Yeah, for like this, but it looks pretty cool though. It's, like, like, it's it, probably an Android or Figma. Yeah, Nandroid. Yeah, Nandroid. That, that, Android. Yeah, Android. Oh, okay. That's that's the one I was talking about. Yeah, that one. Because I'm thinking, I'm thinking of Figma when he said that, but figures, Figmas aren't chibis. The, no, they're not. They're not. So when you said chibis, I'm like, a figure that's about a hundred dollars but chibi and ex- about like. Yeah, I don't think it's chibi though. It's it's Nandroids or whatever. Yeah, what what that's called. You do so you don't know what the actual um uh, it's been, casual was. Yeah, it's ages ago. But they told me ages ago, but I don't remember the name. So, but I know it's, it's an Android stuff. Uh, going things. going back on the pop vinyl thing, the reason why people collect them is so. Let's just say that um, hardcore collectors, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's it's, it's a it's I wouldn't call it a hardcore collector's item, but it's something that's um produced within a limited time frame. So let's say that um, Batman v Superman movie. It's coming out next year. There was a pop vinyl for that, which was only exclusively made for Comic Con in, I believe it was San Diego. That's not going to be produced anywhere else or released anywhere else unless you go on eBay and look for it. And how much are you looking at if you want to pick one up from eBay? Well, I believe the one for the Batman Superman duo, it was like $150. Oh, Damn. Whoa. Last, so like, last, last time I checked. It's crazy. But like a normal one would go for about $30 and. That's 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 just for a basic one. 
So if you're saying that you're really into a series, never like if you're talking about books, anime, film, or like comics, right? Yeah. At what point do you go from like someone who avidly follows the the show in a sense、yeah. to someone who starts collecting merchandise? It really depends on how much how invested you are in like the actual show and the characters. Because I could watch a show and I enjoy it, but that's as much investment as I'll put into a show. For instance, like anime wise, right?、Yeah. Um, if I'm really into Fate Stay Night, for example, <laughs> <laughs> I would go ahead. I love the show, full and dedicated. I'm really into the fan base. I would buy, for instance, a Saber Figma. That that's that would be a huge commitment. That would, that would be like where I would put my commitment level at. But if I were to go from someone who would buy a pop vinyl, I would say I would. Be a person that has a little bit of disposable income, and I wouldn't mind something that looks cute on my bookshelf.、True. So I wouldn't put I wouldn't put buying pop vinyl as a hardcore collector's hobby because there there are like there are huge there are huge amounts of other hobbies that are much more expensive than buying、um, pop vinyls. For instance,、um, Gundam. Gundam, Gundam is—I、uh, would say Gundam is a bit more pricey than buying pop vinyls, for sure. Course, <laughs> and、uh, course, and Jerry, you know that from experience.、Uh, I made an order once for about two grand of Gundam. Oh Jesus! Two、uh, grand. Claymores. Damn. Oh, I ended up reselling some of it, um, but、uh, yeah, they came in like two massive boxes. I、uh, took、uh, like the freaking customs sent me they sent me a letter saying that oh it took so long to get it because we had to check every single individual box. They thought I was doing something shady, <laughs> which I <coughs> wasn't. So you know, yeah. Hey, you're buying it、uh, two thousand dollars worth of、uh, merchandise.、Mm, yes,、yeah, make the、um, money's worth.、Um, yeah, actually, you you asked me to pitch into that.、Um, yeah,、box. the order got a lot bigger than I expected. I, I was I was thinking like maybe three hundred bucks. I can combine shipping. Yeah, that's what you asked. It became two grand in the end. I'm like, wait a second. Wait, but that's but that's two grand not just for you. You asked a lot of people to chip in yeah, yeah, yeah. because the shipping would have been so much cheaper. That's crazy. You are、uh, you collecting anything expensive, Phil? No, not really. The only thing that I collect is、uh, K-pop albums. <laughs> is that expensive? No,、nah, it's K-pop albums. Like for me, like it was like twenty around above twenty, but not. Over thirty, but it depends on where you get it. Like I bought my K-pop albums when the、um, shop like still existed in the city, but now it's gone. But I usually buy it for like twenty dollars. You know, you're, you're talking about that K-pop,、um, K-pop store next to yeah on Berg Street in Melbourne. Berg Street the arcade. Opposite the arcade. Yeah, that one. The arcade's、oh, gone、man. now. That, yeah, the arcade's gone. That、now. place is a bit dodgy though. The arcade have a lot of bootleg stuff. Oh、uh, yeah, like especially the, like the Japanese <clears throat> stuff and all like the music stuff. Like it's all at the back and no one touches it at all. That's why probably why they're like closed. So wait, are you are you sure the stuff you bought from there is legit? Yeah, it's legit. legit. It's、okay. it's legit. Like it's like whenever the thing comes out, like a few weeks later, would like on be on the shelf, and everything inside looks legit to me. Like it's all in a package and everything. It has the like the, the price and everything. It's all good. But yeah, like the, that's the most expensive thing I ever bought. But yeah, the other thing was like my phone was like because I lost it once and I had to buy it off eBay with my friend. It's like forty five dollars. It's cheap, like LG. That was that brief. Wait, why did you have to buy a phone off eBay off a friend? Well, I well that's that sounds really <laughs> sus. I don't I know, but still, like I don't know why they we thought eBay in the first place. But like it was forty five dollars, so it's probably worth it. Like because back then, like I used to have this stupid touch thing, this touch phone, the LG touch phone. I、yeah. just tap it; it's really laggy and stuff. So, yeah, it's best what I, better than what I used to have. What are you rocking now, though? S four. An S four. That was like this was this was like five years ago, though. That's probably when the S four just came out. Really? That sounds about right. Really? S four came out five years I ago. I started falling after the S two. But still, the S four <laughs> would have been about. Oh, five six years ago. Was it? It'll、oh. be quite a while. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like high school for. for yeah. 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 I thought high school like back then was like S two, S three. Yeah, S two、like、came out like a year after S. S、uh, yeah, S two came out.、Uh, sorry, S three came out like、uh, a year after S two, and after that, getting like half yearly releases. What, what are we up to now? S six. We're up to the S six now. S six. So it w- would be about five years ago. Sounds about right. Five or six years ago, something like around there. Sounds about right. Yeah, around there. But yeah, it's the cheap. That's the most expensive thing I bought. Quick question, Phil. What's、yep. your stand on audio files being digitized? Say what I'm saying is like c- considering like buying CDs, 
or just buying the song online, getting say like with Google Music, you get like two or three downloads. So about like you talking about like getting music off Google Music, iTunes, Spotify, and getting like the disc. Because I know as a collector, the discs mean a lot more than the actual file itself. Because you can grab the music oh, anyway. Okay. Not yeah. yeah, that's true. Yeah, of course. But then these days, like for me, I follow a couple of uh, Japanese artists, and I just can't find the CDs anymore. So they went straight. They the all digital now. Well, I guess it's handy for the for whoever's like wants to find the music. Yeah, of it's harder the CD. for them to release overseas after some. Experience. Yeah, so if if you if the CD was to release like, it would be hard to find because you have to go overseas. Well, wouldn't you, wouldn't like you be able to like find a couple of eBay posts? Yeah, like, you can, but eBay is just ridiculously expensive. Yeah. And like, yeah. people's tenant is gonna like beat your beat your beat or something like that. Like with the last second, you know, like five seconds is like five fours, and someone just beats you. <laughs> you know, funnily talking about this, right? Uh, my cousin was staying with us, so she's from China, right? She they have the whole Taobao system. Taobao, I don't think they have a bidding What's system. Taobao? So they have a it's like the Chinese eBay. I guess. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> so um, yeah, basically she came here. You know, she wanted to buy a drink bottle on eBay. Then we we went to one of those bidding ones, not like buy and now. So, okay. So yeah. so then we saw this bottle. It was, it was pretty nice. It started at zero point zero five cents. Yeah. And she was going through the roof because like the whole bidding system was new to her. Right. Okay. So right. yeah, that, that was, it was somewhat of an interesting experience. For for a drink bottle. Yeah. No, no, we ended up getting it for like three dollars or something. Oh, shit. <laughs> drink bottle though. Is it like is it like fancy or something? Is it like I don't, know, I don't even know, man. Like the last thing I bought of eBay was my MacBook Air. The one that's sitting on the table right now. Oh, really? Um, it took me like three weeks to find a, a good pricing for it. Got it for like a bit over $500. That's not too bad. Right? It's, a, it's a 2010, um, it's a 2010 model. So it's a bit, it's a bit old. It still runs the latest operating system. That's not too bad. I have an iPad with like runs around. They're pretty old, but it still runs the latest OS. For, for $500, I was really happy with that price. Yeah, it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. You watching any anime now, Phil? Yeah. Oh, like I think the last thing I watched was that. Um, you guys know the anime called A World Where Dirt, the concept of dirty jokes does not exist. Oh. I showed that to I showed that to Panda. Once. Oh yeah, you did. I still haven't watched it yet. <laughs> yeah, it's like that finished. Cause no, the, I, the last thing I watched was um. No, it's not finished yet. I think. Okay. Like the last thing I watched was episode ten, which was like the latest when it was, when it was back then. But I don't know what episodes are out now. Probably eleven or twelve. The season should be finished by now. Season's it's finished. The new season. Season's, season's should finished already. Should, should it? Oh. Yeah. You yeah. watch anything from this season, Joe? Uh, I'm watching the new Gundam show that's coming out, and the new Macross show. That's pretty much all. I got, that's getting me pretty excited, and I think that's all I have time for. I actually checked out the new Gundam show last night, um, Blood Iron. That's pretty good because we we had this discussion offline, but you didn't like Build Fighters, which was which was the last um, Gundam series, <coughs> but you really love Blood Iron, even if the first episode's only been out for like 24 hours now. But why, why, why is that? <coughs> Jerry's just dying in the corner. <laughs> I'm not dying. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, so the main difference, I reckon, with uh, Iron Blooded Brothers, I think, Brotherhood or something, um, it feels like it's a throwback to Blood, see. Blood Iron Orphans. Shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it's called. Blood Iron Orphans. Is this, like, is this like got to do with something like Full Metal Alchemist or something? This is Gundam. Like? This is Gundam. This is oh, really? This is Gundam. I thought so, it was like Assassin's Creed or this, something this, when I heard Brotherhood. This, <laughs> this, is that the first thing? This, is, this is the new Gundam series. Yeah, um, oh, yeah okay. it feels like it's a throwback to Seed and Seed Destiny. Like, look, for me, my Gundam exists, like, what I see from the show is after Seed Destiny came out, we got Double O, right? Minus Unicorn. Unicorn's like that half yearly thing, whatever it was. Yeah, it was like one episode of each So we're, we're not going to talk about Unicorn. It was pretty good. Okay. Um, after Double O came out, we had basically Age. Yeah, and Age. after Age, we had the two seasons of Build Fighters. And then, no, 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 we had, um... Yeah, we had two seasons of Build Fighters, and we had the Recognista in G. I think Recognista in G came up before Build Fighters. It might be between the two seasons. Okay. But yeah. Yeah. Um, but those three shows, um, the first one, Age and Build Fighters. Build Fighters is more dedicated towards selling gunpla. Yeah. That's what it feels like to me. And Age, they're trying to make a very serious show, possible, more accessible towards kids. Which yeah, they that's... kind of failed in. Like they're trying to attract both audiences. Yeah. So then when after that, Build Fighters was more more just like trying to sell gunpla to kids. Yeah. It it did its job. Every single episode, they have advertisements for HG models. Yep. You, you're not, you, you, don't, you don't see, like, MGs or PGs, which are, like, in the hundreds of dollars for us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <coughs> right? Um, entry level. Yeah, entry, entry level. level. Entry level. So, after that, they did the Recoin G, which 
was what I got really excited for, but it disappointed me. So, like, I watched the first episode of Week on just uh, G. I, I, it made no sense. It was very confusing. Yeah. So, look, they tried to condense a show on the scale of Seed into it was like twenty four episodes into into a very small span, and then they did a mess of it. That's what I reckon. Yeah. So that's why I got really excited. Even the mech designs show. weren't that appealing. Yeah. That's that's like the thing Build fi- Build Fighters did right though. It got the the good stuff from it. It, it got the good stuff yeah. from each season and mashed it together. So you, you've got Wing Gundam equals to uh, Wing Gundam Finiche. You got um, Strike, uh, Build Strike, so on and so forth. And that's that's what like that's what the Gundam community has become though. It's the, the one thing I wish Build Fighter would show is my favorite Gundam. They did not show it. What? I reckon it's the most badass one. What? The EXS. Oh. I, I've shown you pictures. You have. You have. The thing has three pilots and it transforms into a deep strike spaceship. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Anyway, yeah, um back to our original. So No no, but the thing with the thing with Build Fighters is all their kits I think it was a shame, I don't think it was really told. But their kids were mainly um, HD grade, yeah. so when they're fighting, they're using HD grade. Mm-hmm. DX, DXS is only MG. Yeah, it's only MG grade kid. Yeah, there was there was references to like one to one hundred scales, but not specifically the grading system of each model kit. Not 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 sure how that like that affects the actual show and how the um, particles enable them to move at all. But hey, I saw robots kill each other. When I first watched it, though, the first anime that came to mind um, that was really close to Build Fighters was Angelic Leia. Oh, I've heard of that. You've heard of that? I've heard of it. I've I actually it. never heard of it. Angelic Leia is like, it was like I think it was either... This is old, right? This is old. This is old, old anime. anime. This is um, either... Eighties. No, 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 no. It's either late 90s or early 2000s. Okay. So the concept behind Angelic Leia was um, you would put on a helmet which is connected to the gaming system, and your doll, they call it dolls, um, your doll would move based off um, new transmissions from your helmet, and they would just fight. Right? Why does that remind me of something else? Excel Saga? I have no clue. I have no idea. Term. I have no cl- I've heard of that, but I don't know what it is. Yeah. It's, it's, it's one of those, uh, you know, recently we had that, the whole... Uh, Virtual reality gaming system sucking people into like virtual reality. Oh, like sort of online. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was something like that, but instead you're like fighting hand to hand combat. So like it's like kind of like what you're talking about, putting on like a headset which captures your neurotransmissions in like fighting super robot style or something like that. Yeah, but they're not robots, they're yeah. dolls. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. 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 So it just seemed like um, in Angelic Layer, they. I think the emphasis was on. Um, when you buy the dolls and you customize them. Custom- oh, so there's merchandise. Yeah, there's, merch- oh, okay, there's, okay, there's yeah. merchandise for the dolls. Right. So you can like put on clothes and all. It kind of reminds me of Barbie. That's what <laughs> I thought too. So, like, That's what I it's, thought It's like too. It reminds me of Barbie fighting each other. <laughs> <laughs> that would be sad. But there were, there were guys playing as well. Guys playing Barbie so dolls? So there were guys, there were guys, hey, they dolls. have to justify the fact that this is suitable to a male audience. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. pretty sure there was an episode where um, one of the dudes tried to hide the fact that he was um, a fighter because the majority of the fighters in the show were girls. Right. But, oh, well, it, it's an old anime. Yeah. Um, but besides besides uh, Blood... Iron Blood Orphans, what else are you watching, Jerry? That's it, the new Macross. It still hasn't come out. There's, I don't think there's a PV for it yet. Okay. But, uh, yeah, I'm a keen follower of Macross, the series. So it's like... Have you have you seen any of the Macross? No, I've it's heard, like, of, I've heard yeah. of Macross. So it's yeah. basically Super Robot Space Opera. Opera? Yeah. It, there's a lot of things. Did like you Oprah or Opera? Opera. Oh, like singing. <laughs> I heard Opera. Not, not Oprah. Oh, okay, <laughs> I said Oprah. <laughs> but yeah, um, so it's like uh, like how the song helps people to fight battles. It's it's just how it what? is. What? So is this like is this like like Bollywood kind of thing where they just break up to sing and dancing <laughs> or something like that? With anime form or something? I'll get around to it later. I think it's uh, it's so sure. relevant to my topic. Shows sure, shows sure offline. Um, besides besides that, I've been watching. Um, oh man, what was it called? Noagami. Noagami. Second season. Noagami Anagata. Our first episode was. 
It was okay. I didn't like it was it was it was just as good as the first. What's about? So the the premise of um Noragami is the main protagonist is the god of calamity. Okay. He's a god. Okay. So um he's a god but no one knows of the god. So when you go to a temple, like, like an Asian temple, right. you know what each god represents. Um, he doesn't have his own temple. No one worships him anymore. Because there hasn't really been any, you know, calamity. Needs, of, needs for him. Yeah. Oh, okay. So um, what he does is he roams, uh, he roams around the world um, and materializes in order to do random jobs for people. So like good deeds. So not, only, not, not only when people are in need can they see him. So yeah. he writes like graffiti in the toilet, yeah. saying if okay. you need me, contact me. Yeah. <laughs> and he has his phone number there. So, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So you're like trying to before you kill yourself, you see like there's a number on the end of a store, a toilet store. You're like, oh, I'll give it a try. Uh-huh. And he shows up. No, but like <laughs> the, in episode one, his task was to babysit a baby. That's it. Yeah. In okay. episode two, I'm pretty sure he was like cleaning the toilet yeah. a few times. <laughs> and then but he got rewarded with a meal or something. It was like, was really yeah. He only gets paid like uh, five yen per job. Oh my gosh. It's like a donation. Yeah. Okay. It's like it's towards his temple. Oh okay. And he's trying to make a temple for himself. Oh, okay. Um, so they're taking baby steps. Yeah, yeah, but he's been doing it for centuries. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, but like, season one ended with a really good premise. Spoiler? Well, I'm not spo- no, spoiler. Right, cool, no, cool. no spoilers. All right. S- spoiler free. Um, so I kind of expected episode one to pick up on that. No, not really. Not really. But based off, um, based off the PV and based off the first episode, there's a lot that's gonna happen this season. So if one episode, uh, one series that I would recommend to the viewers is go watch Noragami Aragosa or watch t- uh, season one, which is just plain Noragami. What genre is this? This is considered... Uh, horror. No, <laughs> horror. Horror, I'm no, staying no, away from that really, shit. Really. It's, it's, you can call it semi-melodrama uh, in a sense. You just slice the life in there. It's like not serious drama. Oh, okay. That's how I'll put yeah. it. Yeah, I guess like from the first time when Panda mentioned like... Supernatural. Oh, we call it supernatural. It's like yeah. when he's like cleaning the toilet and all that stuff, I'm assu- I already assume that's not going to be so, like no, I, serious. I reckon... It's like a demon who crawls out of the toilet and, <laughs> and eats him. Man, that's, that's horror for you. <laughs> Why do I reckon Panda missed out on the synopsis? It's basically... the Basically, he told you about the guy, right? The main character. So then one day the... Uh, the the main character is out like just doing his sh- stuff. Yeah. Uh, this girl who can see oh, um yeah, yeah. see like Dead gods people. in a sense like oh. she has a special abilities to see things. Yeah. Sees him and because he can't be actually hit by vehicles, he just walks down the street. Yeah. So this girl saves him, gets hit instead. She becomes a half human, and then the story re- resolves around like her trying to get her like no, humanity it's, back. It's, it's her trying to get him to keep her soul in her body. Yeah. Because her soul keeps falling out of her body. But then they never really do get around to it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> they don't. Um, and then uh, eventually down the line, he uh, meets other spirits, and the spirits become his weapon. That's sick. Yeah. So they can transform to like swords and like all yeah. the hells and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. That's pretty yeah. cool. That's pretty cool. Um, but he only has the one weapon so far. The girl? No. <laughs> which, which I always found weird. Some kid, he found some kid on the side of the street. Yeah. The cold scene, why was it? Because the girl's not technically, she's not technically a spirit. She's between um, limbo. She's a spirit and a human at the same time. So as a ghost, she randomly falls out of her body. But she's not dead though. All all the we- all the spirits that become weapons are dead people. Oh yeah. But she's not dead, so she's in between. That's why she can't. I'm assuming that's the reason why she can't. So she's not. Weapons. So she's not alive, and she's not dead either. Yeah. How? What? Okay. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> um, but no. Besides, besides that, I'm not really watching anything else. I might go back and um, go through a backlog of other animes. Anything you guys would recommend oh. from uh, previous seasons? No. no. There's one I will recommend. That's from a few seasons ago. Is Shigatsu. Yeah, no, you you've mentioned it a yeah. few times in the podcast. It's it's, well. it's actually the only thing I really enjoyed in like the past three years. Yeah. So that's that's my view on anime right now. What's the what's the premise? Uh, it's your lying April. It's about it's a piano show. 
Okay. I swear, I saw everybody watched it. Okay. Like a lot of a lot of the mainstream ones, I didn't watch as like um, a lot of hype ones, I didn't watch as well. So, for instance, um, we had a huge conversation about Glass Slip a while back. Glass Slip was nice. I, I didn't. Like I didn't watch any of Glass Slip. I haven't seen Railgun. Um, I haven't seen. What's what's uh, what's Ali's favorite? What Ali, What's Alex's favorite? Um, Ari no Imo. Ari no Imo. That is trash. That whole show is trash. Um, oh, he's gonna listen to this. He's gonna beat. That's the what crap I said. I'm gonna be public enemy at number one after this. <laughs> he's gonna beat the crap out of you after him listening to this. Um, oh, what's another one that I haven't watched? That's like pretty popular. Nah, I think that's all on top of my head. I'm not gonna go back and watch like. I won't go back. I won't go back and watch um, Naruto because Naruto anime is still going on. Yeah, I see much. Bro, I saw it's finished. No, it's still. Oh no, an- manga is finished. Manga is finished. Is? Anime is still. The one Naruto show sure to watch, uh, watch is that okay. new movie Boruto. 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 Yeah, that that seems pretty interesting. <laughs> that's coming out in Australia. Oh, it's showing this Saturday. You wanna watch it? No, I got. Oh, I, I can't make it. I'm too busy with. I'm busy. They're having a party at Melbourne Central. Oh uh, dang! Yeah. Right, look, look. Get me like a poster with autograph or something, yeah. I'll, I'll pawn it off on eBay for <laughs> a bit later. I don't even know. I don't even know if um if I can even get into. Is that a cinema like, novel? No, this is at Hoyts. Oh wow! This is at Hoyts. Oh, okay. They're I'll see. A, I'll get back to you. They're having, a, they're having an event at Hoyts. Oh cool. Because did you watch the last one? No, the last movie, where he uh, actually it's the movie when like Noon and him actually get together. Hey, yeah, exactly. hey! I've been waiting for a couple <laughs> hundred episodes for this. Four hundred plus. I, I stopped at Shepparton. I watched like up to two hundred Shepparton. I'm like, oh, I don't, I'm done with this. Shippuden is still going. So they're just dragging out the war. Shippuden, look. With a million flashbacks. Naruto, Bleach, One Piece, and Gintama, all of these shows, I watched up to episode about 100 or something. Bleach, is, Bleach, Bleach anime finished. Yeah, so with all those shows, I watched up to 100 something, uh, minus Naruto, and I dropped them. Mm. Like, they're, they're good shows. I'm not saying they're bad shows. It's just that they there's way too much fillers. You have too much. No, Bleach fillers... They're were, bad. Were, weren't that weren't that bad? Are you serious? Did you watch? Like some of them were meh. The whole Sparta thing can be taken out. Yeah, no, that, that was that was really annoying. That thing was like fifty plus episodes, like one season of the show. Where Esparta? That's that's canon. What? Well, I'm talking about the one where they're talking about. Oh, sorry, Quincy, the Quincy one. Which one's that? It's like uh, you know, it's a, it's talking about that guy who uses a bow. Uh, is he that? I think yeah, so. Yeah. Um. Then he was like fighting some vampires or something. Oh, the Bounto Arc. Oh, okay, my bad, my the bad. The Bounto Arc. My bad. Okay, yeah. Yeah, that was a complete waste of time. Oh, they had, they had like a, it's character development, but not really. They had a few good fights, um, but they did they did an arc which was really annoying um, in the middle of the Esparta arc. I, I don't know what arc it was, but they they literally said, "Hey guys, we're gonna take a break. Watch this arc, and we'll get back to you in like." Look, if you if you want good fighting anime, go watch Fate on two times speed. Which Fate? Ah, uh, the new UBL. UBL is great. Are you serious? UBL is. It was horrible to me. Why? I died. Look. Why? UBL, right? So there's two characters fighting. Fate stayed on unlimited blade works is what he was referring to. There's two characters fighting. Yeah. Character one says why he's fighting. Character two says why he's fighting. They talk about it for two episodes. They fight for like two minutes, and then character two is like beating character one. Character goes, it's like, you know what? I'm not going to kill you today because I'm not in the mood and leaves. You're like, <laughs> I, I wasted three episodes waiting for one of you to die. <laughs> the animation's great. The music's great. Yeah. Why are you guys talking so much? <laughs> I'm here for the fighting. Wait, then did you like Fate Zero then? No. No, you didn't like Fate Zero either. I didn't like any of the Fate Series. People died in Fate Zero. They died, but... They took too long. Oh my god! Wow, this, oh, is, right, this right. is like some freaking soap right, opera or something. Look, 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 look! It's like it's like a Batman movie, all right? The villains, all right. The 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 the, the main characters on the floor bleeding out. The villain stands there. It's like I'm gonna kill you, but I'm gonna tell you why I'm killing you, and the guy just <laughs> dies from bleeding out. Wow, that's what it feels like. What to Batman me. movie are you referring to? I don't know, but this is like my <laughs> analogy. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. That's, that's funny. That's how slow it is. That's funny though. I think they're just trying to make drama out of it. But they're doing it wrong. There's too much. No, look. The companies making Fate, they have high budget. They have... Enforceable. They have great freaking animators. Mm. But they're doing it wrong. I think they're trying to, uh, I think they're trying to stay true to the actual uh, 
light novel? Yeah, so the light yeah. novel has multiple endings, and they're doing like one show for every single ending, which is driving me crazy. No, th- there were more, because um, what was the one that got turned into a mobile game now? It was Fate. I'm, I'm not too familiar. I th- like, it's one where uh, Sakura joins the fight, and her servant is uh, Ryder, the female Ryder. Ryder's hot, though. <laughs> um, I think, and it's there's also an arc where Shua gets his arm cut off, and they have to attach um, Archer's arm. I, I I never read this, but like based on what I've heard about the other endings, mm. that's that's yeah. That's I'm, I'm, I'm not at. I'm not too familiar with like I watch Fate for the sake of watching it. That's why I'm saying you watch it at two times speed through the dialogue. And then you slow it down for the one minute or two minutes of action, which are beautiful. Yeah. Music, everything is beautiful. It works well, but they just talk too much. But what is... Okay, what what anime would you say is just pure fighting, then? No dialogue, just pure fighting, and people die. One Punch Man? That just started. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen the first episode, though. No, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, but based on the manga, One Punch Man's going to be great. Yeah. Um, but no, I don't actually know a show which is exactly. pure fighting based. Even even Bleach was a lot of talking, but they still had fighting. You see what I mean? Even Naruto. But I, I reckon they they're overdoing it. What was fate? UBL. Okay. I reckon they're overdoing it. Personal opinion. Okay. Phil, you should watch fate. Don't. If you want to get into anime, you should watch fate. Well, if, all right, all right. Let's. I'll meet you halfway. Watch fate. Watch it at two times speed. <laughs> is there a certain episode out to watch it? Or, no, 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 it, or just or just the whole just, thing? If if you enjoy the concepts, of, okay. So the premise of Fate is you have is it twelve masters? Uh, it's it's basically like uh, it's like ring fighting, arena battles. It's like so, so you want to get the holy grail, right? Yeah. And everybody's fighting. You can summon like this person to fight for you. And I think Saber is like what is it, King, King Arthur. Arthur? So you've got like you've got you've got. You've got no, King Arthur was originally a guy in in the original. In, in UBL, like everybody fanboys over uh, Saber, right? But in UBL, Saber is actually not a uh, very big no, character. Like no, they Archer. No, Archer was the main premise. Yeah, of UBL. exactly. So yeah. they don't develop Saber that much yeah. in UBL. So if you want, if you want him to watch Fate, I do recommend watching one of the Saber arcs. So, oh, then if you want to watch it, go watch the original um, yeah. Fate Stay Night before he got shit. Oh my gosh. From the from the from the, <laughs> from the other from the other animation studio. Back in like early two thousands. You mean before you got shit? <laughs> it's pure action, right? This, this is Jerry's opinion. Um, yeah, it's it's action. So the premise is you got action quotations. Action. You've got um, you got, I, I think it's ten masters. Don't quote me on the number of masters. You got ten masters, which are um, presumably most of them are magicians. Yep. And the whole point of them fighting is to win the Holy Grail. Um, which is, uh, I think they depict it as... Um, It'll grant you a wish or something. Yeah, like an that. entity that will grant you anything in life. Um, it's like collecting all the Dragon Balls. Yeah, like that. And you summon Shenron, and Shenron does whatever, what, does whatever you want to do. Um, so in order for them to win the Holy Grail, they have servants, which are the embodiment of historical heroes, villains. Hi- historical villains and heroes throughout time, past and future. Do you think they'll put Stalin in one day? Stalin. 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 You mean like the Russian? Yeah, yeah the Russian guy. Uh, if they're putting Stalin, I'll there's put probably it. like there's probably like some fan <laughs> fan made Fate Stay Night series on the net somewhere that does that. Oh yes. Um. So yeah, each each of the each of the um, servants embody a villain or a villain or um, a hero from the present and the future, and they just fight. And the last, I'm pretty sure it's like the last master or servant that is left standing gets the grail. I see. Yeah. The spiller thing's got me a bit worried though. Why? Because they're like. Two times speed. <laughs> not two times speed, but I don't like, I don't watch ma- like a lot of action thriller anime. Because I, I mainly watch comedy slice of life anime. Drama? Not sure about drama though. Comedy, Just, comedy, yeah, comedy. Mainly Azumanga comedy. Dayo. Yes, that's the best anime oh, ever. Yes. It's on my list later for, yeah. for the thing later. I love, I love that anime. That's like, uh, that's like one of my favorite animes of all time. As a manga What's the premise of that? It's basically like Nichijou before Nichijou came out. I haven't seen Nichijou. Nichijou is really weird. It's uh, look, Azumanga is like I would say it's a granddaddy of all right now slice of life, uh, like comedy shows. Yeah. Okay. Like 
all the gags from like uh, what was that show called? Uh, the one with the girl was like the blue hair. So basically, all of the comedy shows these days, you can find all of their gags in Azumanga, pretty much. Yeah. Like the last Lucky comedy. Star. Yeah, Lucky, Lucky Star. Lucky Star. I never watched Lucky Star. Lucky Star's great. Lucky Star's great. That's um, an awesome man. The last comedy anime I watched was D Fang. Oh yeah, you recommended me that before, didn't you? Yeah. I didn't watch it. <laughs> it's like it's only twelve episodes. Yeah, I haven't watched it. The show itself, like, it takes itself not seriously. I think I've seen like a, like a bit of it somewhere on YouTube, but I didn't didn't watch didn't bother to watch it. Have you seen D Fang, Jerry? Yes. What do you think of it? It was trash. Oh, it's man. Trash. <laughs> <laughs> that's, what I, that's what I see. <laughs> no, you're, no, you're, you're extremely no, high no, expectations. It, it was average. It was so-so, all right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, it wasn't like something, look, so for me, right, when yeah. I watch a show, I, I, I see, like, if it's if it's worth my 30 minutes watching it, yeah. it's, it's a pay me back, right? Sure. And for me, Defrag doesn't pay me back. Okay. Azul Manga gives me the entertainment I reckon that's worth the 30 minutes. Yeah, you know? yeah, agree, yeah. agree. Like, and in that case, Fate doesn't pay me back. <laughs> okay. Fate. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, if, like, if, if you ask me to, like, give you my opinion on anything, it's pretty much does the time I spent on it give me back what, I, what I'm looking for and generally it's, like, entertainment, you know? See, like, that's, that's the thing with um, a, lot of, a lot of anime watchers that have, I've watched, or, like, I've met. Um, so you've got... You've got the anime that you are watching per season that you like and are invested into those, but you also got the animes that you're watching on the side for the whole point of just watching it. I don't do that. I, I know I know a few people that do that. So you've got, um, so you've got. I, I'm trying to think of like a whole season's worth of anime on top of my head. So you, you've got okay. So let's just say Blood Iron Orphan is your 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 main investment for this season. Then you've got um, uh, Noogami and Noogami. I want to throw some other names that are not part of this season. Noogami, Defrag, um, Food Wars, and so on and so forth. You mean like food porn? Food porn. Yeah, so that's... Kugeki might as well just be called for food porn. Who, sure, eats, who eats food like I, that? I, I, I'm pretty sure like the guy who uh, wrote the light novel for the um, Shokugeki was, um, was writing for that porn genre before you oh went Geki. that's what I've heard um, so back to the topic so you got Nodoga, um, Blood Irons and you got the other list of animes you you look forward to Blood Irons each week you could also st- you could stream these, these um, series but you're watching it for the whole point of just watching it of just uh, time killing well the issue depends on if you have time to kill or not well even then like you know that this is this anime is um it's mediocre, but you've got nothing to do. You just want to sit there and watch something. The whole point of just sitting there and watching something rather than something good or bad. You know? Like <clears throat> for me, I don't have that much time to watch anime. Like uh, I, I can if I can manage two different, two to three different shows a season, I'll be pretty happy actually. Yeah. So what I do is basically, I, I, I think I talked to like Bruce about this before. So it's like. <laughs> I just watch all the PVs. I label the ones that I might be interested, mm-hmm. and I'll watch the first episodes of those ones, and I'll keep cutting down until it's down to about two or three shows by about episode three, mm-hmm. and then that's what I'll watch. Okay. Like I, I just don't have time to watch additional ones unless it's something that's like really, really hyped. But even though it could be shit. Yeah, that was that was the issue um, most recently with Sword Art. Oh, uh, the sec- I don't know. Have you guys read the uh, light novels or for Sword Art, Sword Art Online? Mm-hmm. Nope. The uh, the GGO arc is actually supposed to be the best, Gun Girl Online, but they didn't do as well as I expected. Them to. It did, like, the season itself, the arc itself did okay. Did okay. Mother of Zavia, I don't know what was that about. Well, what was the whole point of this arc? Um, and apparently season three has been announced. SAO? So according to the light novel, the season three won't be that good if they're following the light novel. It's to- the, like kind of spoilers for those who haven't read the light novel. They're talking about spoiler. Alert. Yeah, spoiler. Alert. Um, they're talking about how they recreated the whole virtual world. It's like Minecraft reincarnation or something like that. But didn't they do that already? Didn't they do that already? Is, um, is it? Didn't they no, do like, that? Like he got the seed at the end of season two, right? Yeah, but at the end of GGO, they moved Minecraft into GGO. Yeah, no, there's more after that. Oh, okay. It's, it gets really... Like, when I was reading the light novel, it went from 
GGO was like, oh yes, this is pretty mad action, right? Went from that to like, what the heck's going on in the light novels? Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I, I, I'll probably look forward to it because I didn't really get a light novel. What, what I'm really looking forward to is Excel World Infinite Burst. So, um, I can't, I don't, I can't remember who the author was. We saw that online, but he made he made another um, sort of virtual reality game anime. Yeah, Excel, Excel World. Excel World. So it's it's within the same timeline as well, and so Excel World pretty much uses the same concepts of going into a virtual environment and playing games and all uh, but you have you have like the actual avatars yeah like, yeah so it's a it's a lot more street fighter like yeah so exo world and sort of online first seasons were airing together yeah um somehow sort of online is better even though i thought exo world was better than sort of online exo world infinite burst was just announced the pv looks good i'm kind of a bit pissed that it's not a direct sequel to it mm-hmm. but it still has the main characters that you want so the main, uh, the same, the, the main character is, uh, I'm trying to say his name, Hay- Hayayuki. Hayuki. Yeah, I'm bad with names, but yeah, um, I understand what you mean. The, his, the, the his, pig guy. It the pig guy. His <laughs> avatar is a pig. His avatar is a pig, but in the virtual world. Phil, how would you feel if you play like a virtual reality online game where you see people's avatars? You go and you randomize yourself an avatar. It's a pig. No, no, but <laughs> the avatars are generated like based you, in my on mouth you. right now. <laughs> you, don't, you don't generate them. You didn't actually make your own avatar. Mm-hmm. The avatars are made based off your personality. Some something along those lines. It's like data gathered from you, basically. Yeah. Okay. Because cool. the um. So on, did you ever watch Sword Art? Nah, I think I've heard of it, but never watched it. Because in most in in Sword Art, they have the Nerve Gear. Yeah. Which is just a helmet on your head, and you put it on every time you play the game. Right, right. But in Exo World, they're wearing um a neck bracelet thing, uh necklace thing that goes around your neck. Mm-hmm. Uh, we'll call it a necklace thing. Okay. Um, that's connected to you. All the time, so it's it's like our version of uh, what do you call it? Our version of a smartwatch. Let's just call it a Fitbit in ten years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's call it a Fitbit, like a uh, future Fitbit. It'll be connected to your spy. <laughs> oh god! No, that sounds oh, bad. No, no, no. Wow. In XO World, they had um, they had prior to the necklace Fitbit thing, um, it used to be a nanochip that was actually implanted into your spine. That became illegal, so the whole arc behind how um, you could fight with your avatar and not get like be registered properly, mm-hmm. it was pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to Infinite uh, Infinite Burst for sure. Not sure when that will be released. I'm also looking forward to um, it's not really a series coming out, but Digimon. Digimon. We, we've spoken about this on a podcast before. Digimon um, season uh, three from the original arc. In the original uh, cast. Man, it's been ages since I've watched Digimon. Years. It's the 20 year anniversary. Wow. Yeah. Looking forward to that. Because, like, you get all the original cast, but you get Tai, you get Agumon, you get Matt. Nice. You get Gaumon, and Was Agumon the yellow and uh, black dinosaur thing? I think it's. That was Greymon. That's, 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 that's yeah, evolution. Yeah, that's yeah evolution. I think so. Yeah. What was the one with the blue and the light blue and the, the stripes? I'm thinking of Garamon, but that's just like everyone. Oh, it's been ages. I, been remember the name. Oh, I watched a bit of uh, Digimon a while back. The only episode I remember is they're like riding this minecart going vertically up this hill or something. Can't remember. I don't remember any so of them. I need to. I need to go back and watch the first two see two first two seasons to actually get caught up with um, this. Just watch it here and there back then. It's like all on TV. Yeah, oh, when it was like back on Cartoon Network. Yeah, yeah, like. Yeah, like no, 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 Cartoon Network, like Cheese TV. Cheese TV or something, I think yeah. Cartoon Network, that's Foxtel. Yeah, he's like, wake up in the morning, 7 o'clock, Digimon comes on, and afterwards Pokemon, and then, yeah. Oh, man. And then Dragon Ball Z afterwards, I don't know. It's those random that, that, shows. I'm not sure if that program is even still on anymore. Like, yeah, it's not on anymore. No, that's, no, it became it became Cheese TV, then it became Toaster TV. TV, and then something else. Is but, there something else now? I don't know, I've watched, I haven't watched, I haven't watched TV on like, at 8, eight o'clock in the morning, whatever, anymore. So it's like we just wake up at like nine o'clock or ten. Because we got the now. internet to stream now. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, Chromecast and YouTube. On your yeah, phone, better stuff now. Yeah, Chromecast. Yeah, I don't. My TV. I like. I got two TVs in my place, and they're not even hooked up. I don't even use the TV in my room anymore. I, I bought a. I bought a decent. My monitor. TV's gone. <laughs> it's like just all in the kitchen now. I used to have this really small TV. Like really no, you still you, have, you still have a small monitor in your room. Well, that what? Wait, no, no. you do. You have a seventeen inch monitor in your room somewhere. Hmm. No, I don't. That's gone. It's gone now. I have no TV in my room anymore. Oh, okay. Okay. 
So Joey, what do you have on the table, Joey? <laughs> what did you want? Because <laughs> Joey, Joey, Joey brought in something today. He wanted to talk about. Um, I'm not too sure because he didn't pitch it to me before. Right. What did you want to talk about, Joey? So basically, um, we there was a bunch of posts on Facebook, right? That yep. basically said like they people wanted to know as new anime fans and some as like older fans. Yeah. They want to know like what are the shows that they might have missed that's actually really good. Yeah. So for me I basically I have a list of all the anime I watched. It's in text document. I should put it into word, but I don't know why I have it in text. Yeah. Which I have the year they're like released on and how I rated the shows. So what I did was I just pulled out all the ones I've watched that I rated very highly. Yeah. That's pre uh pre twenty ten. Pre twenty ten, yeah. Pre-2010. So okay, so you've okay. you you're going back a fair while. Like I'm talking about like nineteen seventy, nineteen eighty stuff as well. Wow. Well, I never got that back. Yeah. So yeah, like yeah, for no. for the older fans, you know, so a lot of us, are, you have watched stuff in the two thousands. I watched stuff in the two thousands, right? Mm-hmm. But for the newer fans, they haven't really seen anything before two ten. Mm-hmm. And there's a lot of good stuff before that. Okay. I'll just go over a few. Go over a few. See if see any of the names. Uh, cool. uh, well. Yeah. Give me a few heard of anything oh, yeah, sure. we'll start with Mecca because Mecca. me and Panda were both into Mecca oh yeah so have you heard of Gunbuster mm, ooh by Gainax vaguely so Gunbuster by Gainax is pretty much one of the very first super robot shows so you can say it's a granddaddy of uh, super robot shows in a sense okay right um so, but the good thing about Gainax oh sorry not Gainax Gunbuster is that they gave a, a realistic touch okay so then that basically that gave you Evangelion so th- that's the oh, same this company. Was, this was pre Evangelion. This is um 1988. Hey, that's but I would I would recommend watching it. It's not, it's totally. I don't, I don't, I don't think we're like even born then. <laughs> yeah, but of course not. <laughs> we're yeah. not even born. But then. um, this was a show that basically inspired Evangelion. And, okay. And I I know you watch this. Tegan Topper grew in Lagan. Oh yeah. Everybody yeah, watched yeah. that. Oh, like yeah. no, I want to go one level up. I want to be the best. You know that kind of power up show. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. so that that spawned from Gunbuster. Okay. Actually. There's a season two to get okay. five. I still don't think. Anyway. Um, Mecha shows there's uh, SDF1 Macross so the original Macross okay. series so Macross has been around for like 20, 24 years now I guess uh-huh. they had the 25th anniversary somewhere around the 20-ish years okay. uh, the very original Macross some people in America know that as uh, Robotech okay. so um, yeah it's something I would recommend I really enjoyed it. so it really brought in the space opera genre I was talking to Phil about so it's mm-hmm. like singing and fighting at the same time yeah interesting yeah um the one funny thing about Macross is that it has a very close connection to um, Transformers. Okay. So a lot of the Transformers uh, machines are based on Macross. In a sense, there was a whole Starscream scandal where basically Starscream was a Macross. Oh, really? You know, and they, that's why they don't sell it anymore. They go for like crazy amount on eBay. Oh, okay. What, the original Starscreams? Yeah. That's why you can't buy Starscreams anymore. It's, a, it's actually a copyright infringement on Macross. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, crap. I didn't know it's, a, it's a basically a robot that transforms into a fighter. Wait, are you talking about the original Starscream or the ma- uh, Starscreams that have come afterwards? No, the original. Okay. okay. Like that's why you can't buy toys anymore. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So okay. next shows are uh, well, there's always Gundam shows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like I, I have a lot of friends. They say well, I, I want to get into Gundam, but I don't know where to start because there's so many different shows. Yeah. So you can always watch the original Double Seventy, Double uh, Seventy Nine, the very original Gundam. Yep. Is that the one with Alex Seventy Eight too? Yes. Okay. Uh, 40, 43 episodes of Pure Goodness, I reckon. <laughs> okay. uh, it really depends on you guys. Um, there's also an OVA called the 8, 8 MS Team. Is that the one with the ball? Uh, the one yes. The, is that the ball yes. came from? Okay. So this will be pre-pre-Gundam. So this is what this was before, like... So, mobile so suits. This was mobile suits, but they're talking about the mobile suit fighting on Earth. There's a lot less space. Like, oh, everything okay. is land type. Okay. okay. It's more like... What would happen to us once we divide, develop mobile shoots? It'll be land-based warfare. You'll be okay. fighting against tanks, trucks. Not, not any of this, like, in the space colony. Yeah, so stuff. it's not okay. super robot. It's, like, just robot fighting. Yeah, okay. yeah. Right? Yeah. And uh, if we're talking about mechs, um, well, this is not really mech, but a drama. This Cowboy Bebop. Cowboy Bebop. Oh, I heard of that, yes. I don't think I ever finished watching Cowboy Bebop. A lot of people have heard of it or watched a bit of it, but nobody really finished it. No, I don't, no, really finished I don't it. think so. I really, really recommend it. It's, it's no. a really short watch. It's like 26 episodes, which is a season. Oh, I thought it would be like at least 50 something. No, it's 26 episodes. Okay. Um, the character development is great. The music's by Yoko Kano. So, like, the music's great. Everything just molds really well together. Yeah. I think on my list, this is... I, I gave three shows, like, five out of five. 
and this is one of the shows I did, gave, giving, uh, giving a five out of five. Um, yeah, uh, there's a lot of people who like Miyazaki stuff. So, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. so Studio Ghibli. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, yeah. Miyazaki did a uh, animation before Studio Ghibli called Future Boy Conan. No, no. Does that got to do with Detective Conan? No, I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> Detective Conan <laughs> is still going. Detective Conan. Is still I, going. I, I, I was thinking about that as well. Um, yeah, F Future Boy Conan is really worth a, a watch, even though the animation is like. It's like Dor Doraemon, the very the original oh, Doraemon style animation. Okay, but yes, um, yeah. no, it's it's really well done. I think it was like in the eighties, the show. Yeah. Um, yeah. On top of that, there's if you if you if you're talking about sports shows, right? So there's Slam Dunk and Hajime no Ippo. Hajime no Ippo is that still going? Yeah, it's still going. But I'm I'm going. talking about original. So basically, anything from the Hajime no Ippo, like if you're feeling down, watch it. It'll give you the like. I can fucking do this. Yeah. <laughs> like feeling, like yeah. it, re it feels really fulfilling watching it. Yeah. And also with Slam Dunk, it's the same thing. It's like it's one of those good old style power up animes. The original, the original um, critical basketball. Oh, critical was really, really interesting show. Like <laughs> I, I didn't like it. It was, it was really just offbeat. I reckon. Yeah. Um. Then it's like Great Teacher on Izuka and JoJo, so they're like. Comedy. Uh, have you seen Great Teacher on Izuka? No. Nope. No. Nope. Man, you guys are missing out. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't even seen JoJo. I've been told to watch a lot of JoJo stuff. We did a podcast where um, Samwise and um, the hate on Bruce were talking about JoJo for for like a good thirty minutes. Go back. It's a part of our podcast. Yeah. I think it was like episode two or three of one of our podcasts. Yeah. So yeah, um, I will recommend those. Yep. Mm -hmm. And um, Azumanga. Yes, but you guys about. should watch that. You, if you like comedy, like slapstick comedy, just really random yep. stuff, we really should watch it. There's, there's actually quite a lot, a few episodes, I think. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, uh, it's it's a good watch. Okay. Yeah, there's a few episodes where it stood out for me. There's like we got all these uh, funny scenes where I like. Yeah, it was one of my first animes I ever watched. Like back in the day, like you know when I still borrowed DVDs from the library, I borrowed that and. I really, really enjoyed it. Funnily like, I still enough, watched it. Like it's available at a lot of libraries for some damn reason. Is it dubbed? Uh, well, you don't want to watch it dubbed. No, uh, yeah. watch it, it gets watch rid it. of a lot of the. Jokes. Yeah, the dubbed is like yeah. it's okay. Like back when I, I did watch dubbed, but now I watch like subbed, of course. Okay. And it was really, really good, especially Chio Chan's voice. I'm like, oh, oh my it's God. so okay. <laughs> but yeah, out of all the shows I recommend, the only one I recommend watching dubbed would be Cowboy Bebop because mm -hmm. Bebop's uh uh, English voice actors are actually done qu quite nicely. Okay. Uh, everything else, no, don't watch it dubbed. Because I think I, I think I got into anime through dubbed first, and then yeah, same with me, like Dean Angel. Dean Angel was great, but I watched Dean Angel subbed. I watched it dubbed. I, I watched it dubbed back then, but then I changed it to sub to hear like the difference. And yeah, I watched the, I watched most of the dubs, but I did download it like uh, with the subbed. Dean Angel was a good classic anime. Yeah, it was a good one. Um, it was my first one, like. Really, actually, but like I, I think it was like at least no, no. The first anime I would have watched was Gundam Wing, and that was Wing's a sub. It's a funky one. Oh, no, I watched that dubbed. I watched that dubbed. Yeah. I watched that dubbed. Dubbed is good. Um, but like, the, the, like there are a few exceptions to the whole subbed and dubbed thing, where most people would say that Dragon Ball Z is so much better dubbed than subbed. It's because. Western audience are exposed to um, and mainly a dubbed. Voice. They're just exposed to that's dubbed. true. Yeah, that's like true. on TV, they're always just supposed to play dubbed. Like, yeah, you know, just just like have you guys watched Pokemon in sub? Yeah, I have. Yeah, I have. it sounds ridiculous to you. I'm like, <laughs> you know, this is original, but it sounds retarded. So, it, so it, apparently, you know, the first, I think the um, uh, this is, I think this is Sailor Moon or something like that. There's actually like the, you know, the dubbed, the English version of Sailor Moon, the theme song, and then there's a, and then there's a Japanese version. Yeah, something like that. It just sounds really ridiculous. <laughs> but we're all like exposed. Of course, like you said, Westerners are exposed to like mainly the, the so, dubbed version. Yeah, we're yeah, just the English used version. to it. To it. Yeah, yeah. We're just used to it. No, I head. guess I guess it depends on um, what you come into contact with first. For instance, um, I watched Full Metal Panic. Did you, you guys watch Full Metal Panic? Yeah. No. I watched that. Dubbed first, okay, and then, um, and then I watched it s subbed, and then I went back to watching it dubbed. There's a huge distinct difference, but I was in contact with it in dubbed first, 
Yeah. So that's what clicks to me straight away. You can you can probably say that uh, 2005 is where that really happened. Like pre 2005, most uh, dub shows can, that came out in Japan is basically dubbed by Japanese people trying to speak English. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's actually quite a few shows. Um, but uh, after 2005. Uh, American companies, it's like uh, Mad Madhouse, is it? Madman, Ma- Madman, 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 yeah. yeah <laughs> Madman. Was that <laughs> the one that has like what is it? Funimation and all that stuff. So yeah, that's what, okay, yeah. They, they generally start to take dubbing a lot more seriously, and now they're yes. actually casting people for it. So Jeez. they try to retain the character feel. Yes. Whereas so. before then, it's more like just like it's fan dubbing. It's like there's official dubs, but they're really bad. There's fan dubbing, they're really bad. <laughs> then that's why people generally stuck with. Have summit. you watched fan dubbing on YouTube? This before? reminds you know this reminds me of what you guys are talking about right now, like Korean dramas. I know this is way off topic, but like Korean dramas, like whenever like they try to do like English translation or subtitles like that, and this is really really horrible. Ajime no Ippo can become a, like a rocky show, right? You know, rocky double, sure. like a fighting show. Sure. Yeah. But generally, anime have this aspect to it where if you transfer it to live action, it just feels weird because it's... Dragon Ball Evolution! Oh, <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Dragon Ball Evolution! All right, like, man. there's a few ones that's done well, like Death Note, but generally, it doesn't translate very well. You know how, like, uh, was uh, some Hollywood people were talking about getting doing Gundam, like Pacific Rim that's, stuff? That's been done before. There's a live action Gundam movie. Really mm-hmm. old. Are you serious? I don't think it's called Gundam. I'm gonna look it up. You guys keep talking. I'm gonna look it up. Yeah, but, I, um, I don't know. There, there was there was a live action Gundam um, movie that was done. Oh man, years ago. There's a uh, uh, space space battle show Yamato live action. That was horrible. I've never heard of it. Let's let's yeah. find out what that live Gundam. Uh, no, it was. I think you're talking about the uh, space G Savior. Oh, I watched that. G Savior. No, no wonder I can't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, really yeah, bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, I'm, I'm talking about big budget, like Hollywood star CG. Okay. Like, I, I can't really look. It's there's a difference between the. I'm gonna be very stereotypical here. Yeah. The American understanding of giant robots and the Japanese understanding of giant robots. Okay. America thinks giant robots has big, long brain beasts which are slow. Like, it's like Transformers? Yeah, Transformers. Like, uh, Pacific Rim, the bigger, the slower, right? Yeah. Like, Transformers, they are, they have, like, small, slow, dramatic fighting scenes where Japanese robots are more, like, just fast. Like, um... Like, you know, like Tekken? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah like Tekken, okay. yeah. You could say it's physics firing up to some extent. But it just feels more powerful. It's kind of like, you can also say the the Asian understanding of the dragon and the American understanding of the dragon like generally in American culture dragons like the bad things attacking the castle right yeah yeah. whereas in Asian culture dragons like the good luck if you, if you like if a dragon flies over here you're supposed to get good luck or something like okay. that okay yeah. you know it's just, it's just a different understanding and if you're really transferring anime into like western live, live action yeah because if it's live action it's generally gonna be watched by western audiences yeah and, then and it just doesn't translate that well yeah yeah yeah, that's true. Yeah. Well, I guess Transformers did that well because it was a good. Both cultures understood what was going on. Um, Pacific Rim did that well as well. Even though Pacific Rim, Pacific Rim was a slow-paced mecha movie. Um, besides that, though, I can't think of any other like really big mecha uh, movies. There really bad. isn't any. No, I don't think. Besides Transformers in recent years, man, the live action makes me like feel but even so d- dizzy or something. Even like, uh, so much action on. To go, to go back onto live action adaptations, um, even cartoons. Um, I'm, I'm I'm specifically saying, the last Airbender. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I didn't watch it. Nah, no, I didn't watch it. I didn't like it. I walked into the cinemas when it was airing, and I walked out. Yeah. It's I like I didn't I don't like the I don't like I was, the the original anime like in general and I don't you know like, you didn't you didn't you didn't like the last Avenger well, cartoon well the cartoon like I did watch a few of them but for some reason there's something that I don't like about it okay it's just that I didn't it's not, it's not really enjoyable for some did reason did you watch the cartoon Joe I watched a bit of it I dropped it did you enjoy it based on I the... enjoyed it as far as I watched it and it didn't suck me in okay yeah because it was practice. the last Avenger was uh, quite a childish. Um, cartoon. It wasn't like it wasn't the childish factor. It's just that it felt like the plot wasn't really going anywhere quickly. Yeah, it was just a lot of um, fluff, <laughs> moving stuff, or like yeah. it's yeah, cool. Like it's cool. Like it's yeah. like cool. power it's action. Cool. But yeah, you're like, I don't really see this 
going anywhere in the short term because for, with anime we're used to 12 episode or 24 episode dilemmas where like, yeah. solved done that's it you yeah. know it just felt like it was now I think you would have gone halfway because it did kind of slow down halfway and I got off to the cabbages bit yeah there was really nothing happening there yeah there was nothing happening there um but the producer of the last Airman the movie has announced that he will do a second one. Oh god I want to see how that turns out. No, no. He he basically wants another chance. It's not it's not wrong. Like if he's gonna push out something, if the review's good, I'll watch it. No, the reviews of the first one was terrible. People it doesn't do, look. It doesn't mean he can't fix his mistakes and do it better. That's you're true. saying that that's because true. he failed once, you're not giving him another no, no, chance. No, no, no. That's true though. But once he makes that second movie, everyone. If he no, if he fails again, so be it. If he doesn't fail, he might have a few less watches. Like the box office will be a bit lower. But if it's actually good, you know, yeah, it's like, to it's, us. Like with, it's like with certain like variety shows that I've seen. Like season two sometimes tends to be a bit better than season one. They they fix their mistakes. Yeah, and then season three is just a waste of money. But well, but did, did did those did those shows have source material to go off with, or was it just a plain old original concept? Well, I guess the concept is the same, but I guess it's the cast members. Okay, I guess they have Wait, something. Is the Avatar movie original? No, it's telling it's telling the same story as the cartoon. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> no, that's a. That's that's definitely not. No, I don't know. Like, if he does better, I don't see why not. Yeah. Like, I'm invested in it, but I'm not financially invested in it. If they're gonna make it, sure, I'll pay, I'll pay like fifteen bucks and watch it if it's good. Okay. Like, uh, look, what uh, what are we getting out of it? A new Avatar movie. If it's shit, no new ma- Avatar movie. Yeah. Okay. You know. That that's also what they said about the new um, Fantastic Four movie that just came out. Oh yeah, that, they didn't like it, did they? I didn't watch it. You didn't watch it? I don't I watch it. I heard it was bad, though. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't bad. seen it. Um, Specifically, why? But though? I would, but I would still watch it, only because I would want to see um, what, what 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 the talk of it is about. Because I'm still in the comics, mm-hmm. and I want to compare it to the old 2000 version of it. Yeah, but the, the old one's better though. When it comes out on like Blu-ray, DVD, I'll watch it. Um, yeah. Did that Deadpool movie come out yet? No, it's coming out February next year. The oh, Ryan Reynolds one. I'm actually really looking the forward to The Ryan Reynolds one, right? Yeah, so this this actually, like, I haven't really been to a theaters in, like, four years. Yeah. And then the, I'm actually really interested in two movies. One is that Deadpool movie. Oh, yeah. And another one is The, the Martian that was coming out, like, I think it came out already. Matt Damon? I don't know. It's a guy who's stuck on Mars. Matt Damon. Matt Damon is stuck <laughs> yeah, on Mars. Yeah, I don't know who Matt Damon is. He's the guy from... Actor. He's the guy he, stuck on Mars, yeah? He's the... What the Matt Damon from? Uh, I'm thinking of Born Identity. Oh, uh, yeah, that's him. Is that him? Yeah, Matt Damon. I think that's him. I think it's him, yeah. Is that Matt Damon? I think okay. that's Matt Damon, yeah. Okay. Born yeah. Identity. But yeah, those are like two movies I actually want to see. So, yeah. You don't want to see Batman v Superman? Not really. I'm not, gonna, <laughs> I'm not really a comics guy, so, you know. But you want to see Deadpool, though. Why do you want to see Deadpool? It's badass. Deadpool's Deadpool's the guy's badass. dead. Deadpool's badass, man. He's not dead. He's not dead, but he can't, like, he he, make, look, as a non-comic guy, he's like some badass that can't be killed. Yeah. And then he likes to fuck around. You can say that. Okay, you can say. So you, you're saying he's a more of a fuck up than Wolverine. No, he's a badass. I don't, I don't, I'm not familiar badass. with Wolverine. You're not familiar. He's with a claw guy, yeah. He's a claw guy. Yeah, that's it. That's what I know. Okay, that's all you know. That's all I know. Okay, he's, so a, he's a claw guy who has a massive okay, beard so, who looks. So here's 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 a quick, um, here's a quick, uh, summary for you, uh, in in a way. So Wolverine, he's a mutant. His claws are made out of adamantium. That's a metal. That exists in the world, in the comic world. It's it's apparently the hardest metal in the comic world. Isn't Captain America's shield? I think it's equal to that. <laughs> um, you, 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 it's comic. Word, look, the word hardest. Means strongest. Is, strongest. You're still using st. Yeah. That means one. Yeah. Anyway, yeah, yeah. Anyway, sure, anyway, sure, sure, anyway, sure, sure. anyway. So, um, so Wolverine, he has metal claws. He has uh, a healing factor. So if you stab him, he'll heal. If you shoot him, he'll heal. Right. So what happened? Um, prior to that was he was still a guy who could heal himself but um, he was purely organic so his claws were bone and all such Um, he went through a scientific experiment they injected him with metal hence the adamantium body claws and so on and so forth and they took some of his healing factor from his DNA what's happening in Deadpool is they're going to put that healing factor into Deadpool or the guy who has cancer so the assumption is Healing factor goes into man with cancer, cures cancer, gives man superpowers. Okay. Yeah. But wait, isn't he like burnt? He's not burnt. 
his cancer is still there, but it mutates his cancer, hence making him look, look really screwed uh, up. Okay. So his he it didn't kill the cancer, but the cancer won't kill him. Okay. So he will ever have the cancer. But you know, you know. Die. To be honest, you actually made my urge to watch that Deadpool movie decrease by that. I don't know why. Okay. But that that's a quick summary from the comic. That's why he said he's effed up, right? So that's why hence the mask. Hence the mask, and hence the really disgusting skin. You've seen the trailer, right? I just saw him like flip the car. He was like shooting the people when the car's flipping. But you didn't see his face, though. No, I remember seeing a picture. It's like really. It looks like it's burnt. That's why I said like it's not burnt. It's just mutation. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that's 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 um somewhat of a de- Deadpool origin for you. Interesting. If you guys, if any of you guys want to go out and watch, what about that movie? guy who's sitting in a wheelchair and shoots laser beams out of his eyes? Professor X. Cyclops. No, he's sitting in a wheelchair. Already. Professor X. I don't, I don't think Professor X doesn't shoot la- uh, <laughs> I don't know. lasers out of his eyes. Oh, like Cyclops, yeah, Cyclops shoot lasers, yeah, but yeah. Professor no, X he, is the one who's sitting in the wheelchair. He himself around like collecting mutants or something. Yeah, yeah Professor X. X. He, doesn't oh, shoot, okay. he doesn't shoot. He doesn't shoot lasers. He reads minds. Oh, yeah, okay. He's a telepath. Oh, my bad, my bad. Yeah, um, but no, Deadpool. They're probably gonna do that. For like the first ten minutes of the movie, and then the rest of the movie is gonna be a massive like, "Hey, I'm Deadpool. I'm gonna kill someone." Yeah, that's what I wanna watch. And who gives a shit? I've seen the gameplay. Like, I've seen the gameplay of Deadpool. Apparently, the game didn't do so well. Yeah, it's, it's alright. Yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. It's the bad like camera angles yeah, and yeah. The movements and stuff. But um, yeah, I'll, Deadpool movie is just gonna be like two hours of Ryan Reynolds in a Deadpool suit in chaos. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be okay. great. Yeah. It's gonna be great. And he's also like um, one of he's one of the characters in comics that um, do, have you guys heard of the fourth war element? The what? The fourth war element. The, the first what? The first. The fourth. The fourth. The fourth war element. War or water? War. I think W A R. No W A W L. War. The, the Great Wall of China. Oh, wall. Anim- no, wall. 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 The fourth wall. English. <laughs> yeah. Wall. Yeah, okay. So the fourth wall. Right. So when you're watching anime or cartoons right. or anything on the screen, the characters live in their own space. They're interacting with each other. But Deadpool is known to be a character that breaks the fourth wall. But he talks to the, like, the audience. He talks right? to the audience. Yeah. Oh, you're, talk- oh, you're yeah, talking yeah, about yeah, where yeah, it's like it's got yeah. the speech bubble it's like oh I see what you mean yeah like, like, I, I, like I've seen the gameplay of it yeah he speaks with us so he's, he's like he's still like, a narrator you, yeah like yeah. he speaks like the narrator which yeah. is also like the viewer yeah so like you, he, he interacts with the audience and he tries to make the audience part of yeah the actual scenario fucking yeah. up of shit yeah he does because there, there was an entire arc where he goes he breaks out of his own comic he kills the comic creator, and he goes back to I think it was like the inspiration of all comic book characters. So Ultron in Age of Ultron: The Avengers, the robot Ultron is um, inspired by Pinocchio. Wait, who's Ultron? Ultron, the, the from the Avengers movie. The Age of Ultron. You know, Age of Ultron. Yeah, I've, I've heard. Of, I've t- I haven't seen the movie. So he's a he's a crazy robot that takes over the world, and the Avengers have to stop him. Wait, is, aren't they trying to hunt down Loki or something? You're like five movies behind, dude. Oh, <laughs> shit! <laughs> Loki was like, that was like last the first Avengers movie. Yeah. Like I said, I don't watch much movies. So like, um, so Ultron is inspired by Pinocchio. So he, so he goes all the way into time and kills Pinocchio. So Ultron doesn't exist in that sense. Or he kills, um, I think, he, I want to say he kills Moby Dick. But you see, traveling back in time and killing Pinocchio and Moby Dick that caused Ultra to be Ultron to be made. Yes. So it, Ultron has no. So what kind of pa- time paradox are we talking about here? The the yeah, passive time or the active type? I think the active time. So his act of going back in time caused Ultron to be created. No, no, like no. His act of going back in time is a part of history. Yes. Already, and yes. therefore Ultra is created. Yeah, so he goes uh, back in time and kills um, Pinocchio. And then so, Ultra is... So Ultron. Ultron is not created. Oh, that's passive so, then. So you, okay, so so you try to alter history. Yeah. Whereas active, you're talking about like what you're doing, what you're going to well, do in the future, future is okay. already a part of the yeah. history. So you see, he's yeah. one of those characters who uh, okay, yeah. presumably does that in the comic books. 
Yeah. Okay. So the, the, I'm assuming the move that's coming out has, has nothing to do with all that all crazy right. magical time traveling stuff that Deadpool is known to have. be in the comics. No. Just a guy with a sword with a healing factor and kills people. Okay. Yeah. And a lot of swearing because the movie's where they are. Of course, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yes, yeah, not swearing. Like a true, honest, a true, honest um, comic book movie. Yep. Because, uh, like, Man of Steel, um, I want to call it, I want to call it not true to comic books, but. Who's Man of Steel? Superman. Superman. Oh, the guy with glasses. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? In a sense. Does he? So like he's called Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Clark Kent. Clark Clark Kent. Yeah. yeah, he takes off his glasses. Not the fat guy. The the guy with glasses. Who's the fat guy? The super the supercar guy. What? The British guy. I have no idea who you're talking <laughs> about. Ah, okay. The guy who got fired for kicking his boss or something. Nah. No. 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 Okay. Nah, sorry. No. Fat guy. <laughs> um, so yeah, Deadpool. Deadpool is going to be a great movie. We will watch it in the cinemas because you haven't been in a freaking theater in four years. Going to be first class. First class is nah, but probably. <laughs> <laughs> first know. class is like a hundred dollars, isn't it? It's expensive, yeah. Jesus, I'm like. Oh, you can just. Nah, don't worry. Actually, don't worry. No, no. Um, oh, maybe, like maybe first class would be worth that for. Who knows? We'll see what happens. But I can assume there'll be like a lot of people going first class. See, like, I don't know anyone who actually goes to first class. Look, do you, how about this? We'll just wait until the DV comes out. Buy the DV. Come to my place. I'll set up a tent outside my house. Look, like a little screen thing. And we'll watch it at my place. Yeah. Hey. How long will that going to be? Like December next year. Yeah. It's worth a wait, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I think Ma- uh, Man of Steel will be up by then as well. Give it time to mature. That's true. Like, I'll bo- buy a bottle of wine when on the release date, I'll just keep it. You're, you're like, you're like... We'll pop it over when we yeah, watch yeah. it. You're like, you're, you're comparing a movie to a good bottle of wine. It's fancy. Watch it as fancy the way. You mean goon? <laughs> like goon. Goon, goon buy some needs cheap, to mature, man. We're going to buy some cheap goon and watch Deadpool. I think that's appropriate. Maybe we should do that. Oh, man. I'm just... Uh. So, a lot of our viewers... Um, I asked our viewers to leave a couple of questions for us to answer. In a quick lightning round before we sum up, uh, close up for today, just trying to find those questions. There's a lot of crap here on the uh, the forum threads. I can't find it. Did I delete the post? Have you finished your list, Jerry? Nah. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> too much. We'll, we'll give them a few weeks to uh, update themselves. Okay. If you want to like, um, I think I think it gives the viewers a good like. If you want, you can type that list stuff in the description or something. Yeah, on the on the YouTube, um, on the YouTube and feed post, I'll um, post that up with the list. Just give me the list afterwards, and I'll, yeah. I'll post it up. So some of the questions um, our viewers have left, we'll answer in a quick lightning round. So I'll say the question out, and just Swing say to buzzing. Just say whatever comes to your mind. Okay. You don't have to buzz in. Just it's say. Not, it's not like it's not like um. <laughs> It's not like a game show. It's a game show. No. Um, for two hundred dollars. <laughs> so uh, Jonathan, Jonathan uh, Lian asks, uh, "What is your opinion on memes?" Oh my goodness, memes can be like, it can like be viral, can spread around like wildfire, it can be stuck in people's heads, and there will be like diff- different like alternatives or like alterations of it, and it can be like crazy, you know. Would you like to read out my answer? No, <laughs> I, know, I know you left an answer here, but do you want to do you want to say it? I no, yeah, no. What do you think, Jerry? Can I read my answer? What is your answer? I think Panda likes his meme dank, well rounded with a strong aftertaste. I still don't know what that means. I left that in the comments. Like, what does that mean? Well, well, let the listeners figure it out. All right. Okay. So good. And I'm like, from from next week on, I'm gonna give someone shit about it. Um. Uh, Albert Garner asks, how do you make someone watch Volcano Pico? I'm not going to answer that question. Because, uh, <laughs> just get them to watch it. Just watch it, man. I watched it. I watched I can, it. I, what? I can fully admit I watched it. My friend said, watch Volcano Pico. I went out and watched it. I went back to him. I said, I didn't want to watch it anymore. That's it. It's not like... I didn't watch like... I didn't like... I, w- I wasn't like like eyes glued to the screen. I was like, okay, this is exper- like experimental yeah. in a way. Like, You're like this is pretty bad, but... Yeah. It's... Bad anime, 
in a sense. Mate, after you it watch sucked. Igarashi, nothing's really that bad. I don't know what that is. is that it's a bunch of kids cutting themselves. Oh my god, uh, nah, nah, nah. nah. You, wouldn't, you wouldn't see me watch that, nah. Boku no Pico's not even bad as that. Um, Joey Nguyen asks, how do you judge what anime is better than others? Uh, story and plot, plot, I guess. It really depends what genre I'm into. Yeah, just go for value for time. If you're watching it for 30 minutes, it wasn't worse. you sitting there for 30 yeah, minutes. Yeah, if, if it doesn't drag on for like 10 minutes, then yeah, sure. Just yeah. If you sit there, after 10 minutes, you're like, what the hell's going on? Just yeah. nah, screw it. Yeah. If it doesn't engage with you, like, one of the things that attract me to anime, if it doesn't engage you in one minute or even the opening is good, I'm yeah, out. I tend to like watch episode one to three and then mm. just like after I'm just, that. I'm like, just like episode one. If it doesn't engage me in episode one, yeah, I like watched an anime. I don't remember the name though. I watched the first episode. Like, nah, given up. Um, Ian Chung asks, "What do you guys think of the upcoming One Punch Man show?" Well, I have no, I uh, have no contributions because be I, I don't know what that for the season. I know it's just some <laughs> bold <laughs> guy. That's it's, all I know about. It's it. a bold guy who just kills everybody in one punch. Is that, he's a superhero. Wait, that, does, does it have? To, does it have anything to do with the One Punch, like the One Inch Punch? No, okay. but he just punches somebody once. That reminds me of GTA Five, like the hack. Oh. Like you know, like you just like um, there's this um, what is it? This cheat or this cheat where you kind of like move, shoot, like if you kick cars, it just goes flying at people and stuff like that. It's like Carmageddon. Carmageddon. Yeah. Okay. Carmageddon. Um, <laughs> yeah. Ian Chung also <laughs> asks, <laughs> "What is your opinion on Fallout 4?" I don't. I haven't played any of the. Fallout I don't know. I don't. No, I don't know. I haven't I played don't. any of the Fallout games. I've been collecting bottle caps. Are you playing a mobile game? No, I've been collecting bottle caps. I have a drinking problem. <laughs> no, no, I'm really hyper. It's, 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 it's a fact. Um, Jerry doesn't have a drinking problem. <laughs> no, um, it's, a, it's a public announcement. Nah, uh, for, for, I'm really hyped for it, but the only issue is that I personally don't like spending money on AAA titles. Ex, ex, uh, it's going to be 90 something, 92 oh, yeah. dollars. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'm probably not going to buy it until it comes down to 50, which will be like three years later. Um, Going off what you said before, Jerry, Chris. Thomas asked, what would be the best anime to introduce someone who's... What would be the best anime to introduce someone to anime B? Azumanga Dio. No, no, don't. Don't. Lucky Star. <laughs> Lucky Star is what introduced me to anime. Really? Lucky Star is yes. really good. Like, um, I think Lucky Star, like, um, the, the animation is really nice. I think it's cute because I like the cute stuff. I reckon Bebop or Shingeki. Like, personally, I don't like Shingeki, but it's a good show for non-anime viewers. That, that would be a really big deal. Yeah, so I reckon Bebop or Shingeki. Bebop okay. is a lot more Western than you imagine. Like, so each planet has, like, a different region, and then the planet they normally set on is actually Chinese. Like, it's it's got the China-slash-Asia background. Yeah. And then, you know, a lot of, like, televisions, they just speak English straight on. Yeah. So it's, it's something pretty interesting. Yeah, man. What I would say is, um, find a genre that you like. Yeah. And this is assuming they don't know the genre because it's no, no, the first no, time no, they watch no, it. not not even just anime. Choose a genre in general that you like. Yeah. And um, find an anime within that genre. Mm. That's what I do. So, it, like for instance, if um, you introduce someone to Lucky Star, yeah, they haven't watched anything of about anything about anime, and they all watch Lucky Star, they'll be thinking. Anime is generally about. I, I haven't watched Lucky Star. Um, anime is about these girls, girls doing random shit. shit. <laughs> random shit. Yeah. yeah. Well, that doesn't appeal to them internally. Yeah. Give them a genre, or tell like, get them to give you a genre, and you tell them about an anime. Look, let's just, let's put it this way. If you want to summarize, right? This is my opinion anyway. Sports, Hajime no Ippo or Slam Dunk. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Mecha. I would recommend the new Gundam movie or the original. Which the new Gundam movie? The, the new, not the movie, the new series that's coming Gundam out. Gundam the Origin? Actually, no, you know what? Seed, just Seed. Just watch Seed. Seed gets everybody going. Okay, Mecha? Okay, look. Say, so say, Mecha will go with Seed. Seed and Gundam Double O. Yeah. Yeah, Double O is pretty good. Okay. Uh, what else are we going to Sci fi and crime, watch Lupin. I haven't seen any. Lupin, they call it Lupin for some reason. Um, yeah, Lupin, but Lupin, Lupin isn't really dark. Oh, you want something dark? I was thinking psychopaths. <laughs> Let's go with Milky Holmes. <laughs> I have, don't know no, what you're talking about. That is not. Okay, it's like really, it's like Lucky Star cross with like detective. It's really random. Um, crime watch, Ungo and psychopaths. Okay, sure. Um, what other journals are there? Dramas. Drama. Uh, she got to uh, Kimi also. Uh, you're lying, April. Okay. Um, I wouldn't really recommend Clannad at this stage. It's a bit too long. Clannad is after you had a taste of the genre. Or Kids anime. on a slope. 
uh, yeah. music slash drama. Yep. And uh, recommend Area 88 if there's after something older. Okay. It's a horror. Uh, it's not. It's tragic dra dra uh, drama. Okay. Um, Supernatural. I would recommend Unghost or Supernatural. Um, Card Ra -ra -ra. Sakura. Hmm? Card Captor Sakura. Card Captor Sakura is massive supernatural. Dora good, Ra -ra. good for introduction. Good for someone who's getting into magic. Getting, 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 no, no, there's still guys in that as well. There's still guys in that as well. Sailor Moon, the guy does nothing. My job is done here. <laughs> does nothing. Sailor Moon. Um. So yeah, supernatural. Go watch Sailor Moon. <laughs> I um. Card Captor Sakura. Oh, tr uh, tragedy? No one's seen tragedy. What's melancholy of Haruhi Suzumi? Or that's drama. That's that's drama. a lot. That's less Don't alive. watch Sa Haruhi until you're really into anime because that thing's gonna put you off unless you're really. That's into true. Because I once I promised myself to watch that and I never did. Yeah, I'm like my friends are like you must watch Haruhi. So I got home, I sat through the entire Haruhi season. I'm like, nope, I'm out. Yeah, Haruhi is something that is suitable for someone who's oh. watched anime for a while. And also, if they don't have much time, recommend any of the Miyazaki movies. Oh, yeah. Bang, straight down. Oh, yeah. yeah. And uh, is it Goodness. Grave of Firefly slash uh, Beth again? What or tragedy? Yeah. And all you little kids out there, what's Cheese Sweet Home done? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> yes! Um, Everybody loves Cheese. Cheese Sweet Home. I have seen that either. It's, it's, a little, it's, yeah, it's, a little, it's about a lost kitty. And it's, and it, um, and it's, over, it's short. It's, it's like, very short too. It's like, like four minute blocks. Lives with the family and stuff. Like, and another a, another supernatural yeah. one is um, oh my god, the devil is a part timer. <laughs> what the no, hell? No, I wouldn't recommend. You wouldn't recommend that. Recommend that that reminds me of Sims Four, like it's how you can make death work with you. Oh yeah, that's good. <laughs> when death comes to reap your friend, you're like, hey man, you wanna live with me? <laughs> you wanna work with me? Work with my job? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't recommend Devil's a part timer. It's too niche. Okay. It's very, very niche, I reckon. Um, but no, that's about it, guys. Yep. Hope you guys enjoyed this week's podcast. Yep, I enjoyed it. Um, if you like this video, on, if you're watching it on YouTube, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Like and subscribe. Like, like and subscribe. It's not a video, so subscribe to the channel uh, to be updated with um, each week's podcast. If you're listening to this on iTunes, we're on iTunes now, guys. We're on iTunes. Yeah. Finally, we're on Woo. iTunes now. If you're watching it on iTunes, listening to iTunes, uh, leave us a review. And uh, tell us what you th thought about the podcast. See you guys next week. Yep. Peace. Awesome.